this is Solar PV TV from Intersolar Turkey. We are together with uh, Kemai Gani, who is president of uh, Günder, but also president of ISIS Turkey. Hello, Kemai. Hello. Merhaba. Merhaba. So, uh, Kemai, we are here in Turkey and uh, there is a sunny weather outside, a lot of sun. But uh, what about the Turkish market, solar market? Not only for PV, but also for solar thermal. Uh, we, we are very uh, lucky of having such a kind of solar resource in the region. And also, thanks God that uh, Turkey is located on the sun belt. Um, by means of the market development, um, by solar thermal, we are uh, the second biggest market in the world after China. And right now we are readily uh, available uh, installed capacity is uh, 11 gigawatt, more than 11 gigawatt. And every year, uh, newly installed capacity is more than ta 1 million uh, square meter of collectors. And also industry is very well developed within this respect. Uh, also, they have a good capability of uh, export. Uh, and they are um, providing service worldwide. Uh, PV is... Uh, a baby uh, at this moment and day by day it is growing um, by the end of 2014 we uh, completed uh, with uh, 40 megawatts as an installed capacity last year we added uh, 210 uh, megawatts so uh, by the end of 2015 we reached to uh, 250 megawatts that means that when we compare what happened last year in the world globally um, every week one gigawatt installed newly installed capacity um, globally and in Turkey we succeeded to install four megawatts of this thousand megawatts so you have to make more work yeah <laughs> yes we have to work more do more work and we are aware of that uh, not only the industry but also all the public bodies trying to speed up all the process and trying to fine-tune uh, the uh, regulations uh, and also trying to establish a, a healthy uh, regulatory uh, fr framework and also uh, environment for the industry uh, this year in the first three months uh, the speed is right now uh, around 10 megawatts per week uh, we added uh, 110 megawatts in the first three months of this year and our ex expectation is in the low uh, growth scenario is uh, over 600 and in the mid uh, medium growth scenario it's uh, over 800 but ho hopefully and uh, our wishes at least as soon as possible we reach to uh, one gigawatt and uh, we want to be in the one gigawatt countries league as well so uh, with regards to the issues, because uh, we know that there are still some issues on the Turkish market. So how would you say, what are the major problems here on the market? Uh, they're all part of learning curve, in fact. Uh, we cannot say that they are the problems, but they are the points to be uh, improved, to be um, fine-tuned. And we are learning as the world is also learning and from each experiences we immediately try to transfer what we learn and immediately with this transfer we try to improve uh, what's going on in the market within this respect the regulations are being improved uh, frequently in comparison to other regulations but frequently doesn't mean that in every month uh, it is not it is being uh, revised but at least uh, once a year it is being revised but there all these improvements are uh, uh, to strengthen the market in fact uh, and um, in some cases or most cases are uh, fruitful for the market especially uh, protecting the real investor and also supporting the quality of the investment but on the other hand if something going wrong uh, immediately uh, with, with, uh, with a good discussion platform and Gündar is performing a very good um, uh, performance here um, a network hub or a dialogue hub uh, between the public bodies and also industry, uh, bringing them together, understand the issue better and immediately take action to, so to remove I if there's a problem. So speaking about your organization, um, in the past it was not so active. Actually, there were other organizations uh, more active on the Turkish market. So what was the reason and why now your organization is so active? Uh, our organization is in fact, uh, it was founded in 1991, and just like InterSolar, we are uh, uh, 
celebrating our 25th year, in fact. Um, and um, mainly it was found at that time by the public bodies and also some uh, visionary uh, academicians. And afterwards, solar thermal industry helped uh, this association uh, for its survival. And in the last three, four years, uh, immediately started to increase uh, its activities, and not only locally, but in the globe. Uh, it's a bit um, PV development also helped with the PV development in the market, especially it's good to benefit this wind uh, while uh, blowing with the solar PV. We use also this wind uh, not only on behalf of PV, but also on behalf of thermal and also for buildings as well for passive uh, solar uh, usage. Um, Günder is uh, representing right now the entire um, value chain uh, of solar energy industry. Uh, members are um, not only the public bodies, but PV industry, uh, the manufacturers or uh, EPC companies, contractors or uh, trade companies, uh, and also solar thermal industry, uh, and also individual members, whether they are academicians or uh, from the industry. And we are right now or, uh, around 250 members. Uh, we are running um, fast because we should run fast right now. Uh, when we look at the needs of the country, uh, energy independence is very crucial right now. Uh, and also a uh, low carbon economy is crucial, uh, especially after COP21 Paris Agreement. Uh, we have some targets and also government has also tar tar some targets uh, for renewable energy. And um, when we look at these targets and we look at the industry, we are trying to at least to keep the targets and also to uh, to keep to achieve these targets we are trying to speed up uh, all the process um, and also um, we are um, ISIS uh, Turkey section and also representing uh, Turkish Republic in uh, uh, IEA uh, solar heating cooling program and uh, photovoltaic power systems program and also member of solar power Europe and also EPIA uh, ESTIF uh, right now uh, also, uh, we are um, highly cooperating with uh, Turkish local associations, uh, with um, Turkish HVAC industry. We have a, a good working uh, units in the Turkish Chamber of Commerce. And in these um, climatization um, industry units, uh, we are coming together with other associations. And this increase uh, our dialogue especially for different issues, uh, starting from energy efficiency uh, to uh, renewables. And uh, you were mentioning that uh, uh, solar thermal industry is quite strong in Turkey, that you are even exporting yeah. uh, to other countries. But for PV, I think uh, the Turkish industry is still small. What is the reason? Uh, it's totally linked with awareness. Uh, we we already experienced this in energy efficiency uh, markets. Uh, we always talk about the energy efficiency, the need of energy efficiency, how it's crucial for, the, for our country. And it's just started to run. Uh, but we have been communicating this maybe for more than 25 years. And this is the same. This is the same. And uh, when we look at the PV industry right now, uh, we are uh, having around 20 uh, module manufacturers with a capacity of totally uh, around 2,000 megawatts per year. Uh, but as I mentioned, the, uh, the, the installation right now the market is still small. Still small. Uh, but these uh, module manufacturers only the, uh, selling to Europe, to US. Uh, with their own brands or with their some other uh, brands as an OEM manufacturer serving. And also our battery manufacturers, other uh, supporting mechanism manufacturers, and also the suppliers to these uh, module manufacturers, glass manufacturer. Right now, EVA already started to be manufactured in Turkey. Um, contacts, cables, and etc. cetera. Uh, every day it's improving. The point is, Turkey is strong especially in manufacturing uh, with uh, good quality uh, workforce, young population, good um, access as a hub in the region and not only the need of the country but also the need of the region uh, also motivates the industry to invest in starting from energy efficiency to renewable energy and the 
the solar energy is when we look at when we compare with other uh, renewable energies is the first among all and far from the second which is 87 uh, gigawatts uh, potential in Turkey wind but we are having minimum 500 gigawatts potential solar the point and is planning good planning and the realization of the plan exactly the realization we are having all the um, needed items puzzles to realize mm -hmm. the point is realization plan and program and achieve that's and that's and uh, gender is uh, ready to lead the industry to reach this point yes we are highly um, cooperating with industry with our um, members uh, but not only industry but also the public bodies as well uh, whatever we do we are doing together industry public bodies and also the university academicians so three pillars com not competing but completing each other working together and Günder is the uh, main heart main the brain or main the center of these pillars or these all the uh, market players or shareholders of the market okay so last question uh, how do you think uh, Camille, when Turkey will become the largest European solar market uh, is it a, possible as a potential it is the largest <laughs> yes I think it is possible I think it is possible but uh, uh, a different way of thinking it is possible and our effort is to make this potential happen and I wish you this uh, uh, from my heart and uh, I expect uh, that uh, working together you can reach uh, the goal and Turkey can become the largest European market because the potential is here yes. and the sun is here. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you very much. That was Solar PVTV together with Kemi Gani, president of uh, Gün Günder and also ISIS Turkey. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.